Hey YouTube, this is one only GI Nerd Commander back finally once again with a GI Joe Pursuit of Cobra review. Today gonna do um the AWE striker, one of many things I picked up today in a pretty big haul. So let's start with the vehicle itself. The vehicle itself is a uh repaint. It does actually look really nice, uh the paint detail they put on it. But um the plastic is really, really flimsy. Um, oh, this is also shown without, um, not with full sticker application. I started putting them on and then I got bored. So, I mean, it's nothing they haven't seen before other than that the colors are a little bit different. Plastic is a lot cheaper than ever before, though. Uh, not too happy with that. But, um, yeah, I do actually like the, um, paint job that they gave it. Uh, you might be asking yourself... Where's the steering wheel? Uh, I'll get to that. The only thing I was kind of disappointed with is that they couldn't make this a um, working missile on this one. It's not like they don't have the um, parts to do that. cool thing is that this actually does come attached. Um, this just goes up and down. Not that it's even necessary. I actually really don't like it at all, but that's just my opinion. You do have to put the back tire on, which I thought was kind of silly. That, I mean, why not just leave both of the side tires off? And, but you know, whatever. Um, the back of the packaging does fold out into this diorama. I'm not really going to get into that because I don't really care. I can do that because I'm cool. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is really, really cheap, very thin, very flimsy plastic, and I wasn't too happy with that. But then I was even less happy when I tried getting the figure out. The figure actually comes sitting in here, and I told myself, you probably want to just leave him in there. But because I've actually wanted this figure for a long time, I took him out. And this is what I got. And this is where the bullshit really starts okay let's get a little bit closer here okay first of all I can't get his hands off of this I'm gonna have to find a small pair of scissors to get his hands off of the steering wheel um my first indication that this probably was gonna be not something that I would enjoy is this right here the holster is sticking out into the air and that combined with not being able to get his hands off here also with the fact that the plastic looks like it's just split on the legs I really did not like that and then they put a lot of really cool detail on the vet thing not that you can so okay now you can see a little better but they put this handkerchief underneath of the vest so the vest is popped up pretty high and it just looks really, really bad. So I'm going to have to do some work on this guy. Uh, really, really disappointed in it. Um, really, really disappointed because, I mean, when it's in the packaging, you know, his arms are up. You figure, oh, that's just because just his arms are up. That's why the vest is like that. No, when you actually take him out, it's pretty bad. So I was very, very disappointed because I was really looking forward to this figure yourself looks cool but there's so many flaws in it that um, it's just really disappointing the color scheme on him is really nice though I especially like this back part right here not that I take him off of any take it off of him anyway but uh looks cool on that uh, the good thing about this is that it does come with an awful lot of stuff and I just keep sliding more and more in here uh, two handguns both of which are really thin tan colored plastic one shotgun which is incredibly thin almost paper thin plastic which is not too cool um, the bolts are really really flexible which is nice but the bad thing is I had trouble them into this so I'm either gonna have to glue them leave them out or 
Maybe try to use a toothpick to shove that in there. And the ammo case. I thought originally it was supposed to come with a gas can. Maybe I just saw it wrong, but it comes with the ammo case. Uh, the cool old school hat. I really like that. And um, helmet with a really great uh, paint job. This is probably actually the best thing about the whole thing. Let's flip this up here. And that was just like the uh, Duke from Rise of Cobra. So I really like this helmet. So I'm happy about that. Uh, other than that, I was really, really disappointed by the whole thing. And I don't know. When I bought this one, the remake of the 25th edition, the All Tan one, I was also pretty disappointed in it. So I should have learned my lesson the first time. But I'm going to take some work on this guy. And hopefully it'll look a little bit better after some work done on it. So it's been GI Nerd Commander. Uh, stay tuned for a whole lot more videos coming up. Bye.